Hello everyone, and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2010 again. My name is Dizzy. Uh, I have a little bit of a treat for you, though I hope to show you. Uh, with uh, the new design for Dizzy. Uh, so I, I um, fiddled with some things uh, off stream to get a new look for in-game Dizzy that's a bit closer to out-of-game Dizzy. Uh, that I, I think is a, a, a marked improvement. So, uh, so I've got to adjust the sound on my end. Oh yeah, I think that's fine. Um, uh, off stream, I fought up against all of the CPUs that we played last time a few more times. I managed to unlock a grand total of one new duelist opponent. Um, it turns out that quite a few of the uh, AI enemies you have to unlock in the story mode, which is a bit of a shame because I was sort of hoping not to have to do the story mode. And like, I could theoretically unlock them all with cheats, but I mean, I've may have used cheats to unlock the new outfits, which we'll come to in a moment. But I was sort of hoping to unlock them a bit more organically than that. Uh, and some of the challenges to unlock various opponents will at least give us sort of something interesting to do. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's head to the shop, because I also, when I beat them all three times, I unlocked a new pack. Uh, now, if I scroll along this list, you'll think, hmm, Dizzy, it looks like you've actually unlocked four new packs. That was a, a, a mistake. Uh, this is part of the, the unlocking new outfits. They're only supposed to be unlocked when you get to chapter two of the story mode. We'll, we'll get there. Um, but this is the actual new pack that I unlocked. Uh, World Championship Edition 1. And if I fire up my handy cheat sheet... Uh, so what has this got in it? This has Blue Eyes Shining, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Red Eyes Darkness Metal is a good card. Um, what else has it got? Uh, a couple of the E-Heroes. It has Electrum and uh, Necroshade. Does it have any other E-Heroes? It doesn't have any other E-Heroes. It's... It's not uh, amazing as a, as a pack. There's not a lot of things in here that I'm like, oh my gosh, I must have them. It would be pretty much just for pulling Darkness Metal Dragon and Electrum. And uh, Necroshade. Like, like I've, I've already listed the three worthwhile cards um, in the entire pack. Which is a little bit of a shame, but hey-ho, we are still early game. Uh, so I'm going to take all this money that I earned from beating... CPUs multiple times, and I'm gonna buy a bunch more Dark Revelation packs, I think. I'm gonna wish that my uh, left key was not so stuck. Let's grab 10 at a time. That seems like sort of a sensible number to take. Right, pop them open. A uh, non aggression area. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we've got the jar, which you don't care about. Uh, we've got another X head, which is glorious. Continuous destruction punch. Gives you piercing for everything. Royal Magical Library is good for our spell counter deck that we're working on. Uh, Yomi ship? Nah, don't care. No, don't care about that. Ah, Freezing Beast! So this is, um... Oh, you're also Union! I hadn't realised. So Freezing Beast and, Un and Burning Beast can Union to each other. Oh. Okay. Uh, another Sakuretsu, which we might throw in. Dark Jaroid. Uh, we have Eitsu for our Eitsu... Uh, I can't remember which of the other one is. Um, 
Anything interesting? Oh, we've got Final Countdown. So there's uh, one of the AI enemies you unlock by winning the game with Final Countdown. So that might be worth throwing in, not because it's something we actually want, but we might want to actually make like a stall deck to get a Final Countdown win at some point. Uh, we have YZ Tank Dragon, which is great. Um, if we can get Z, <laughs> that is. Shooting Starbo Seal. Uh, Taiki Yomi, I remember this. Um, a dinosaur? Oh, there we go, it was Koitsu, is the one that repairs. Once again, it's a real shame that Frontline Base is only level 4 or lower unions. Uh, another Banning Beast. So, what does Banning Beast do? Okay. Ooh, Luster Dragon. Shining. You might be going in just to replace one of the other dragons, possibly. Um, okay. Well, we still don't have an X. So. Let's go again. <laughs> Oops, I did not need to push that button. Sadly, there's no like bonus for, for doing multiple at once. Metalizing Parasite, another union. Um, uh, the target's unaffected by opponent's spell cards. That's a bit meh. Mirage Knight. Let me spare some except I've hit the Dark Flare Knight. Oh wow. So he's a 2800 beat stick. And he gains attack equal to the opponent's monster's attack when it battles. Ah, but he gets removed from play during the end phase, so he's actually not very useful. Oh my gosh, how do we still not have a, a, a dead metal tank? <laughs> 76% collected. Oh. oh. I think the old one does that apparently. Right, okay, let's go for another turn. Right, we've got another Dark Blade, which is handy. Rope of Life. I mean, at the end of the day, until we have three each of X and Y, it's not like hurting us to keep pulling. Archfiend Soldier. Rope of Life. Why do you want to sense Gregor's will battle this card your entire hand to get it back plus 800 points? Charm of Shabti. Uh, that's a great keeper support, and not even a particularly good one. I remember him, blimey. Last held by a tribute. Mirror Force, plus damage, but only for tribute summoned monsters. Uh, Necro Valley. Suzuki Samurai 2. Another rope of life, another X, we're now at 3X. Still no Zeds, oh my gosh. Right, okay, well. I'll look at that, okay. Last two, come on. Yes, we've got a Z at last! Ah, oh, marvellous, okay. It's all coming together eventually. Uh, right, so remind me what you do. Oops. Uh, so you back up to X or Y. Gain 600 attack. Okay, nice. Right. Uh, I. The new pack's been added to the card list, has it? Oh, 
I don't think it has. <laughs> hmm, okay, that's fine. No, it definitely has. That's okay. Uh, right, let's take these and go into the uh, deck construction. Now, what I don't know is if this deck that I'm making here will actually carry over to the story mode. There's a possibility that it won't. All right, Wild Hearts, you can probably go. Um, yeah, I want Wild. I want Twin Sword Marauder more than I want Wild Hearts. Ah, uh, well. Mm -hmm. No, I, I. Okay, we'll keep Wild Heart because it can be useful to have somebody who's trap proof. Um, Right, so let's see, we want them sort of by like card type for starters. Although actually maybe we want them sort of alphabetically because we can filter by card type. Uh right, I want another dark blade to replace Wild Heart. Okay. Uh we need another X. Um, we want another X and a Z, and this is where we're starting to now lose out a little bit. Because of the, the sort of weird hybrid nature of our deck. It might be worth cutting out some of the dragons. Okay, let's cut out Palatina. We could also cut out Breaker, but Breaker is dead handy to have sometimes. Hmm. We could also cut out Sonic Duck. The duck's also handy to have sometimes, though. Because if we cut out Sonic Duck, then we basically only have Hunter Dragon to synchro into uh, Gaia Knight from. from. Because all of these guys level 4. Oh, we can cut out Alice and S Swordswoman. Let's cut out Alice and S Swordswoman. There we go. Um, how happy am I with the rest of the deck in terms of spells and traps? Uh, oh, excuse me, I've got a visitor. Are you streaming? I don't know. What's well, the time I stream every day? I'm literally always streaming at this time on Saturday. Do you think I'm streaming? Oh, you vey. Uh, so I'd, I'd be happy cutting out the dragon bit entirely, but I don't feel like I have good... Um, plus tier monsters to put in its place, really. I've got one of you. Some bad Dark Scorpion Grave Keepers. I've got Chaos Command Magician for sure. 
Great magic gloves, that is okay. I could put in Kiryu. I'm not sure that's really much better. Uh, you're a spellcaster thing. A spellcaster thing. Mephist. It's piercing. It's pretty meh. Rock from the Valley of Haze. I mean, you're not better than the dragons that I have. Uh, X, Y, I've got another X, Y, so let's put them in. Y, Z, let's put them in. Yeah. I need, I need better level 5s. Oh, level 5s, 6s, I think, before I seriously consider getting rid of the, uh... Alternatively, I could put in Despair from the Dark. I don't think I'd put you in. Um... Because although maybe not as, as as innately useful, it makes up for it by having better stats. Hmm. We're gonna go with it as is for now. So we've got spells wise. Deal with Dark Ruler. See I've got I've got Banner of Courage in my deck at night, which is not that great. Um It's only still there because I don't feel like I have anything better to replace it with. Um, Charleston Barkin... I feel like it could be useful when like I'm up against people who have special summon monsters. Like... Um, you know, when they have their, their, their boss monster out. Nobleman I'm also not terribly happy with because of how it, like, resolves, um, but again don't have anything better to replace it with yet. Now that we've got X, Y, and Z in one copy at least, I might switch over to Dark Beginnings just to get some staples like Mirror Force. Offensive Doomed, again, not super happy with it, but it's there for now. Reasoning not great. No, okay, no more spells that I'm particularly enthused by. Um, I'd love a bottomless, but we don't have that yet. See, this just isn't that useful. Is the problem with it? Um, I 
Night Owl is kind of okay. I'll probably put in another Saki. I could even put in another Raigeki break. I don't need you. I just, I just don't. And you're not better than Raigeki break. So I'll swap you out for Raigeki break. Um... Spell Vanishing is interesting. I'm surprised I haven't seen it used in competitive play. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Um, right. Let's jump into the story mode. Alright, this person is in prison and has collapsed. Oh my god. And he smells horrible. Oh, wow, he's teleported. As one does, that's a motorcycle. Am I supposed to know what's going on? Why are there elves? <laughs> what? What is going on? Oh my god, the elves died, I think. They were killed by ancient Egyptian acrobat monkey. Or possibly ancient Spartan acrobat monkey. Have I ever played Duel Monsters before? Uh, we're gonna go with no so we get the tutorial, even though I have. In this world you'll find three types of duels, each of which is connected to a different matter. Oh yeah, because there's turbo duels. Oh god. What's the third type? Oh, it might be tag duels. In the World Championship Duel, I'll teach you all about, all about the rules of dueling. Start things off, I recommend you take a look there. Oh, okay. You're not gonna bother. You're just gonna dump me straight in. Chapter 1 Awakening Arcadian Movement. Somebody, somebody, please help me. What's going on here? I feel like we've just seen about four different. Ominous foreshadowing things. Sarah, a change has been detected in the test subject's body. Big exclamation mark. Apparently we know who what these people are called though. See this wavy pattern. The subject's communicating with the spirit world. All of our research up to this point hasn't been in vain. Uh, you've put me in an animus. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh animus. It's like the regular animus, except instead of assassinating people, you play card games with them. <laughs> so they're thinking I might develop psychic powers? Oh, the subject's eyes are open. Do you manage to tell that from looking at the screen? You've had your back to me! No, make sure no one realizes this subject is not a psychic duelist. Ha ba ba ba! I feel like it should be much more of a secret if I am a psychic duelist, because that means I'm cheating at duel monsters. Uh, which admittedly is par for the course in Yu Gi Oh! Oh, that's me! I, I'm not sure I'd quite realised that yet. This will be your own for today. If there's anything you're not sure about, please ask these two guys. 
If this is my room, then why are these two guys in here? Here's a deck that you can use. Bling! You receive a supplied deck. This deck's already been created, be careful not to mix the cards up. You'll be receiving instructions from Saya soon, you two better be ready too. This is Okita. A pleasure to meet you. We just got here ourselves, so I'm afraid we probably can't answer too many questions. Well, you're not very helpful tutorial people, are you? This is liquid. Presumably liquid last name snake. Brother of solid last name snake. Um some new blood, eh? I'm liquid. Okay. Dizzy, well good to have you on board. I also misread that as beards for a second. What are you staying in space for? You got anything going on upstairs there? What's that fella's name over there? It's Ockerton, alright, so where are we now? We're in Arcadia Movement Headquarters. Don't go ahead causing any trouble. Oh, okay, right, I can wander around. And when I do. Oh boy, that is a. Uh... I don't know what happens to my tabard there when I run, but uh... Um, I'm not certain it's entirely appropriate. Two beds in a three person room, that means you probably sleep here. Wow, great. That's liquid bird bed. What's up with this place? <laughs> I just sleep on the couch! Okay. Deal. Yes. No psychics allowed, alright? We wouldn't want to mess up our room now, would we? Well, apparently I'm not a psychic. Whatever that means. Oh, I'm not using my deck. That's a shame. Right, well... Uh... Oh! When they're saying psychics, they might be talking about psychic as the, the dual monsters type. Because, of course, this is about the time when that was introduced, wasn't it? Uh, Yi is in the chat. Hi there, Yi. How are you doing? Um, I'm about to deal with a deck that I've never seen before. Against somebody that I've never seen before. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's going to be great, or possibly terrible. I've got two Rush Recklessly's and a annoying twist thing. Right, what have I got? Thought Ruler Archfiend. I thought they said no psychics, but all I have in my extra deck are psychics. Um, this card destroys monster by battle, sends the graveyard to gain life points equal to that monster's attack. Pay hands and life points to negate the a spell trap card that targets a psychic tech monster. Life Transfer. I feel like I've seen your art before, so most people have used you. It's mediocre. Magical Android. Okay, so they're kind of alright beat sticks, I guess. Um, their effects aren't anything special. Psychic Snail. 800 life points, select one of the face up psychic monsters you control. Attack twice, and this can't attack. Well, that's terrible. Uh, Genex Turbine. Plus 400 attacks of Genex monsters. Okay. Majestic Mech Oka. I see. Okay, so you are specifically like for getting out high level um, synchros or what have you. I don't know what tuners I have though. Wait, um, you're just one team. Okay, so there's no help given there. Well, I guess let's throw out a snail. Pop down all my all my quick plays. Oops. Okay. 
increase armors by 500 every time monsters return from the field to the hand. That doesn't sound like something that's going to happen very often. Okay. So you love having your life points increased. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, oh, what have we got? We've got Genix Control. You're a Tina. Okay. Well, we can get in business. Um, level 7 boy. You're just one normal non Tina psychic monsters. In fact, you all are. Okay, so that's good to know. So, we want to put you down first so that our Genix Control actually like survives. <laughs> <clears throat> Right. Snail, attack. Snail's not very threatening. Psychic snails? Okay, I can understand that being threatening. That's not that great, but okay. I see now why you, you have life on increasing cards though. Sounds kinetic shocker. Okay. This is this music is new. I've played this game a lot, but I've never played the story mode. But like this music is new and I'm I'm digging it. DD capsule. Okay, we'll wait to see what you remove. You remove that and then I'll twist to you. <laughs> um Bye bye. I hope that was worth it. Right. What have we got? We've got threatening raw. That's okay. Um. Yeah, let's grab out a uh, synchro boy. Let's use this boy. Actually, maybe that was foolish and short sighted. In case we draw another into another Genix boy. But uh, to be fair, we don't really know what's gonna, we're going to be facing or what's in our deck at all. Saggy the Dark Clown? I suppose this is the first duel that we're fighting, but still. Also, I feel like he's explicitly said no psychics, but we are using... like, all psychics at the moment. Right. Set threatening raw. Oh, we've got Mobius. I didn't expect to see you in this deck, but okay. Well, I'm not complaining. I won't 
do that yet because I don't feel like it's necessarily. I don't feel like it's necessary. Um, right, maybe let's blow that up. Dark rabbit. What is this? What kind of deck are you running here? I also just realized you don't have an extra deck. Um, <clears throat> which is probably not doing you tremendous amounts of good. Just go straight to the battle phase. Another dark rabbit. Well, okay, you're dead. Um, Was there any need for that? No, but it might get me a higher uh, massive damage bonus. Okay, right. You're amazing, I just have to dedicate myself to training even harder like you. Is that all you two got? Let me show you how this works. Uh oh. Saiyan's back. Psychic duelists, listen up! Next up, I just became up by a very own Arcadian movement has been decided upon. So it will be set to security event the Fortnite Cup. A large number of duelists with amazing skills will participate in this tournament. I can't let them go about their business without any oversight now, can I? Akiza, come. Who's Akiza? Hello. This is Akiza. He's been advised to take place in the Fortune Cup. Take part in the Fortune Cup. Need the three of you to infiltrate the rear of the event hall in order to support her. Right, infiltrating rears is my specialty. It looks like you don't have enough power now to bend a psychic deal to your will. I have to work together, I can do a kind of field training. Gives those other contestants a real taste of your powers. You three, however, the tournament don't fail me. Okay. Noted. Is this a, a save point? Yes, okay. Uh, okay. I've got a duelist menu. Oh, I've not got a duelist menu. Items. There is no item. <laughs> right, good. Fantastic. Return to mode selection. I don't want to do that. Okay, well. <laughs> Are you ready? No. What if I say no? There's nothing else I can do here. So what does it what does it matter if I'm ready? Oh, maybe it just means there's no uh, save point there. We're not actually into the tournament, so we can't get in from the front. Uh huh. Oh, we're out in the overworld now. Um. There's nothing inside the trash can. New Domino Waste Management must be doing a great job. I guess we're in New Domino City. Our future. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Is there a, is there a, a, a map? No, there really isn't a map. Okay, fine. Right. Cool, I guess. Okay, so this is... 
to the north. I'm literally not allowed to get off of the road. And there's a Peter Minarchy on this point, that's okay. Oh, there's a person there. No, wait, are those my friends? Did they move? Yes, they moved. You go in first, we'll be right behind you, we'll meet up with you in the waiting room. Oh. Yeah, let's not go in there just yet, I want to have an explore. Xanifer and Murpin! <laughs> what on earth does Murpin sell? I bet this is the same thing, so last one does that. Okay. We've got quite a big world to explore straight away. Lagalus. Lagalus, what do your elf eyes see? Um. Oh, there's a big old gate across the way. Can't even interact with the gate. Uh, let's actually go down the stairs first. We should look for the road that leads to the stadium. Oh, okay. Boring. Oh, and this. Oh, also locked. Okay, right. Well, that was the limits of where I could explore. Okay, right. Why well, button to retry doing so or is any item info gained on the map? Okay. So it's a it's a it's a sliding block puzzle. Where we can't see very much. I'm confident that's out of the way enough. I can't say I see any items, to be honest. Um, I will say, as starting block puzzles go, this one's moderately complex. Um, Which is surprising. Uh, or possibly I'm being unusually dense. Uh, let's hit Y. Just to, to make sure we're back at the very start. Oh, it gives us a little, like, you failed musical beat. And there's definitely no pull option. Let's push in. Okay, I could push you down, you across, you down, twice, you across. No, I was close there, but I didn't quite make it, did I? Hmm. <laughs> I actually don't know how to fit I actually don't know how to solve this puzzle. Um oh, I don't need the tutorial every time. Well it can't be this way. And I'm fairly confident it can't be through the middle of this. So I must have been about, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. I've got to get my thinking brain on, but unfortunately thinking is not my strong suit. Well, there's only four boxes I can push. This is really embarrassing. I've done one duel, which was fine, and I'm now struggling at the box pushing puzzle. Uh... So I push you down one more. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, it's fine. We figured it out. It only took us three tries. Um, there we go. It's fine. We're through. Hooray! Okay, brains activated. What's this? Do not touch spare parts exclusively for Jack Atlas's dual runner. That's what it says in the container. Something stuck under the container. A DP code. I received 600 DP. Nice. Yes, it's good to explore. These are the tiniest shipping containers anyone has ever seen. Spare outfit exclusively for Jack Atlas. This is the front entrance. I need to get to the waiting room. Yeah, I honestly hadn't even realised that was an entrance. Wheel of Fortune transport container. What's down here? Oh, a save point. Out of curiosity, if I... Oh, okay, I can't go back in. I was like, if I get in, can I get out again? Duelists may sit down here to meditate before heading to the dual stadium. Thanks! I, I really needed that description of a chair. Uh, this is the way to the dual field. Okay, right. Let's go to the other one then. Doop 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 doop, rounding around at the speed of sound. That's not how that song goes. Um, So I said I wouldn't have to think anymore. He said he'd tell me everything I needed to know. You say, oh, you say is like the main character, right? You have to think for yourself. Well, let's say I do it for me. It's easier that way. Don't run away. I know you can still feel the true self. I feel like we've stumbled like in halfway through the story as the bad guys. Hear my words through this deal. Clustering hopes will blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'm sorry, clustering what? <laughs> sure, cool. Stardust Dragon. Fantastic. Go, Cosmic Flare, but they didn't want to animate that bit. <laughs> so that's happening conveniently off screen. What an amazing conclusion. Oh my god, that guy's hair. Akiza's life has hit zero. That's right, folks. She has no life. 
Um, you say Fido, Mage is the victor. He is our champion. Right, so I feel like we didn't do very much. Now, obviously, I didn't do much because I'm not actually psychic, but uh. I feel like it was our job to make sure she didn't lose. Like, so we just fluffed, basically. Why don't we take a peek around before we go on our merry little way? <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. Okay. Plans on hold, we're going home. Lazar, or possibly Lazar, who is a clown. Director Goodman would like to see you. Does anyone know what's going on? Am I, do I need to have watched the 5D's anime for this? <laughs> Take care of these guys. Oh yeah, we'll just take care of the security heavies. Sure, it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Luckily, they're going to challenge us to children's card game instead of beating us up. Um, very interesting that my outfit is forced, but my hairstyle and stuff aren't. Oh, I lost. He's got an equip and tribute deck. He's also the toughest enemy by number of Millennium Puzzle Pieces that I've faced so far. Um, and we still don't know most of the cards in our deck, so that's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got Fisher. I've also got Brain Control. What's this? Genix Neutron. Well, I know some of this card, I can add a machine type tuner from my deck to my hand during the end phase of this turn. Okay, well that's pretty nice. You're a psychic type monster only. Oh, psychic sword's kind of okay. Let's run that into this thing. B list soldier. <laughs> okay. Uh, we contribute this card on one face up insect type monster to draw two cards. Well, that's not good. But okay. Has it affects Genix Neutron? Yes. Okay, I've got one copy of Genix Controller in my deck. That's good to know. <clears throat> I wonder if I'm running Crabons. That would kind of make sense in the psychic -y deck. I mean, as a sentence, it makes no sense to anyone who's not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, right, let's pop this out. We'll try and run over his thing. If not, we'll bring... if it doesn't work, we'll bring control it. Put someone Bubonic Vermin from my deck. From your deck. Uh, in the face down defense position, and shuffle your deck, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't synchro. Uh, I was spamming the A button. Um, Oh, he didn't have another Bubonic Burn in his deck. Q 
curious. Right, okay. You are, I think, probably the second most powerful monster in my deck. So let's hope you're worth it. Return soul. Return to three monsters destroyed this turn from the graveyard to their own decks. Okay, that's fine. What's this? Gold Sarcophagus. Oh, okay, I can actually look at my deck, <laughs> which I've not been able to do yet. Uh, okay, we've got Rush Recklessly, we've got Telekinetic Shocker, who's uh, alright beat stick wise. Uh, hello? Game? Game? Okay. The game's not necessarily super happy. There we go, okay. Uh, we've got the snail, we've got Mobius, we've got Old Vindictive Magician. Right, we've got Tomato. What dark monsters do I have apart from Old Vindictive Magician? Back to square one. Power invader. Ducker mobile cannon. Flips that one level four once we give you add to your hands. Ryko. Reincarnation might be good. Crabons, we do have crabons. Fantastic. Um, do you want a tomato or a crabons? It would be tomato for crabons. Uh, just because crabons is not the most survivable boy in the world. Let's grab Crabons. Oh yeah, because it's going to take a few turns for for Tomato for Crabons to get here anyway. Um. In the meantime, Battle Warrior. <laughs> We got another tomato anyway. I say another tomato. We got a tomato anyway. Let me run that down. This, called, this deck is called Tribute and Equip, but so far I'm not really seeing much of either from him. I mean, he's playing everything face down, it's not like there's a lot of equipping to do. Uh, 
Yes, let's dust that uh, trap. What was it? We Crab ones for me. Hamilton's lost. Okay. Uh, let's throw out Crevons, I guess. You're level 5, aren't you? 5 and 8. Maybe next turn we'll get uh, Ochre out. Actually, if I'd been sensible, I would have got Ochre out this turn by tributing the Tomato. But sadly, I'm not sensible, so I didn't do that. It is technically 200 more points of damage this way. But uh, a much bigger risk. Well, and I suppose this way I get to keep Tomato on the field. Uh, right. Oh hell, I didn't set Mystic Walk like a fool. Well, it's not looking good for you, is it? Let's be honest. Crippled. It's like sort of a weird psychic jester thing. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. I can't believe we're an hour in and we've only done two deals though. Well, 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 looks like they've managed to escape. Yeah, probably because you were playing a card game instead of arresting them. I suppose we have no choice but to fall back. Do you? Do you have no choice? Why? I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. This is all we're getting done today. Our plan was a failure. Let's head back. We likely won't be getting any more orders today. <laughs> you guys are very really good at making like executive decisions. Oh my gosh, it's an investigative never mind, I take it back. It's Carly Shea from the hit TV show iCarly. Um you're the judge from the Arcadia movement, right? I think so, I'm not really sure. Oh my god, it is actually a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good guess. Why don't you tell me everything you know about the Arcadia movement? If I beat you in a duel, you have to promise to answer all the questions I want to ask you. Do I? Um, okay, unfortunately we've been interrupted by Godzilla attacking. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad I'm not the only one. We just summoned that huge dragon. It's going to be huge. I got to get an interview. Oh, that is a pretty large dragon. I don't even know what monster that is. Oh, but we're apparently rolling the tackles. Uh, okay. And now they're on bikes. Oh, this is Jack Atlas, I guess. Ugh. The drama, what a shocker. No one could have predicted this. We have a new king, you say Fudo, with lots of O's and three I's. That's not how you spell his name. Well, the Fudo bit might be. Oh, and now I'm having a migraine! <laughs> 
Does anyone know what's going on? The taunt is a resounding success. Everything is going according to plan. That's nice, Rex. Are you a bad guy? I feel like everyone we've seen so far on screen has been a bad guy, apart from maybe you say. And even then, I'm not certain that he's not going to be like the antagonist of this storyline. Oh, now Akiza is in the animus. Having a crisis. Akiza looked me in the eyes? That one speaks such nonsense. It'd be better if you believe what I tell you. Okay, she's being brainwashed. Maybe. You shouldn't feel other things that don't concern you. I trust you. Okay. Right? I'm pretty sure we are the bad guys. Uh Guess you're feeling better now, huh? You staggered in here yesterday and fell right to sleep. I was kinda worried. I don't know. You know more than me, Akita. Ask at the training room, just exit this building and head west. Well, let's drop down the save. Can we access the duelist menu yet? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm sort of assuming that our stuff is shared. But I don't actually know. I wanted to check if it still said, I think this is where I sleep. I probably sleep there. Well, where did I sleep? <laughs> okay, we're now in our hallway. A particularly bleak and featureless hallway, it must be said. We can go up, right, down, or left. The other way it says electronically locked. Okay. Uh, Right, it's west to the training area, right? That's where he said to go. Oh, I can actually leave if I want to. I'm free! I guess I can deal people here. Should I be dealing people here? <laughs> um. Oh no! Wait, this is going to be the training center, isn't it? Hang on. Let's. This is actually where I'm supposed to be. No curses! Quick, run away. Uh, I must investigate all of the side paths, including that way that I didn't go before. I'm not free at all. It was always predestined. Yeah, okay. The train is to the west. I was getting my west and, and east confused. I was like, oh, I don't want to go down that other corridor because that goes to the west. It doesn't. Quick, let's check out the other corridor. Um. Oh, wow, well, it's... Uh... locked and it's not even blue on the map so I'm guessing it's always going to be locked. Wow this is depressing. Okay fine. Fine I'll go to the place you wanted me to go. It's a blooming long walk though. I feel like I didn't need to make the environment this large. Uh Let's talk to the one who is not tall. Oh, it doesn't matter. Check. I've been trying to teach you about deal puzzles. And Nina. I was half expecting you to be called Mate. Um... My class, you must solve some deal puzzles prepared by yours truly. Choose from between five problems, get three correct answers, and you pass. In my class, you're using a structure deck. 
you to win using three different decks. If you clear both, you can move on to other types of training. When the time comes, we'll explain what those other types are. Unfortunately, the problem is I don't know which one of you is which. Feel free to try your luck as often as you like to be waiting. And I do love a good deal puzzle, even though I'm terrible at them. Deal. Please choose a deck. Ooh! I love these. Dinosaur's Raid is pretty good. Um, Rise of the Dragon Lords, I adore. Zombie World is pretty powerful. Uh, Dragon's Roar is not. No, Zombie Madness is the one that I'm used to. The zombie that I'm used to. Uh, I don't know. Let's try Rise of the Dragon Lords. And they're fighting... Uh, it's a bit of Dragon's Roar, okay. Sure. Let's go first, because this deck requires a bit of setup. Do -do 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 -do. Draw, right, okay, what have we got? Uh, Goryu. Dark Blaze. Wants to be special on from the graveyard. Discard one level 8 monster, draw two cards. Unfortunately, you're not level 8. Uh, Felgrand. Kaiser Seahorse is pretty good. We probably want to do trade in. Discarding Goryu. Uh, what have we got? Shallow Grave. Each player selects a monster in their graveyard and supposed to summon it in face down defense mode. What's Goryu's defense? It's okay. Different dimension dragon. This card can't be destroyed by the effect spell. Trap card that does not target it. I don't remember this card being in this deck. Because not destroyed as a result of battle against the monster that attacked 1900 or less. Oh, that's not that great. Uh, we'll throw out Kaiser. Pop. And set the level of catastrophe. And that will be us. There shouldn't be too many things in that deck that can actually beat down Kaiser. So we're probably onto a winner here. Okay, the sword's less of a winner. It's true. Boy, I'd sure love it if you declare an attack right now, though. Uh, Mausoleum. Currently, we don't kind of really need it. I'm kind of happy to throw out Felground and leave it there. Um. I don't feel like I need more selenium out either. I'm just gonna end. Now I don't remember what traps that deck has, but then I guess these aren't perfect recreations. Hmm, reckless greed, okay. Well, you're not using the swords to maximum effect because you're not uh, leveling up an armed dragon. So you can discard one card to add one level 7 or higher monster from your graveyard to your hand. Uh... I don't feel like there's a, a level 7 or higher monster in my graveyard that I want in my hand currently. But it's good to have the option. That'd be a good way to get um, Darkness Dragon into my graveyard. Uh, 
All phase effect monsters are changed to defense position. Gen Tennis has activated the original defense of those monsters becomes zero. Oh, okay. Ouch. Well, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is really gonna hurt. Oh, it's fine, because I've got my level one. Um, I mean, it's still going to be a pain, but, you know. Alright, we've got rid of swords, which is good. Before you could level up that armed dragon. Ouch. I mean, it doesn't not hurt. Oh, I've got a master dragon. That's kind of nice. Oh, I still can't shallow grave. Because you've got nothing in your grave. God damn it. Right, I guess I'll throw out Mask Dragon and run over your Arms Dragon. Here we've got engraved. We've got Felgrand or Garyu. Garyu is the juiciest target offensively, but has a weaker defense. But I'm not super convinced can stand. So let's grab. Even though it's not super optimal, let's grab help. So the key card for this deck is really the, the creator. Um, hell. <laughs> well, bye bye Felgrand. Ripperoonies. Um, that's not great fun. Double Jeopardy. I wonder which one of us activates first. Nine does, that's nine. Uh Fortunately I don't have a level seven or higher dragon in my graveyard. Um because Felgrand got removed. What do you bring? You bring an element dragon, that's a little bit annoying. Ow, 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 ow! Ow. I'm currently in the unenviable position of possibly having to summon this. And then suicide it into his element dragon at the cost of a huge number of life points. Um, But 
I'm not sure there's anything else I can do. Now. As strategies go, this one's pretty painful, NGL. Um, but it might work out in the end. Okie doke. Um, oh, I didn't set Twister. Whoops. Whoops. Lighten the load. Once per you can add one level 7 or higher monster from your hand to your deck and shuffle it, then draw one card. Well, there's not a lot I can really do. Uh, if he gets out his arm drag level 5, I'm a little bit toast. Uh, oh, Pot of Greed. Well, that's kind of convenient in a way. Ooh. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit glad, actually, that you uh, destroyed that. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Um, well, this is bad news. <laughs> this is very bad news. <laughs> uh, now, that noble amount of cross out really actually knackered me, didn't it? Eek, ow. I mean, on the plus side, I didn't lose because you used the International Matter Transport. Like an idiot. Uh, okay, what have we got? We've got a flip effect monster. <laughs> right, well, uh, I think we've lost. But I can't do maths, so we'll set this. Depending on who you attack with, we might survive this turn. Just this turn. Because what I would do is attack with Element Dragon. He's not doing that. Yeah. Oops. Ow. Alright. 
We're, we're desperately trying to not lose life points faster than we get them back from that stat steal. Uh, oh, this isn't good. What's this? I mean, we've definitely lost. There is there is no way out. Card a safer turn. Yeah, okay, we've lost. Um, ouch. Yeah, okay, that went quite well for you. We got a 45 DP turn bonus. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Thanks! Um, no, I actually wanted to do the deal puzzles. Please choose a problem. Let's try number one. Win in this turn. Okay. You have bottomless. So all I have to do is not trigger bottomless. And deal enough damage. Okay, well. As dual puzzles go, this isn't... The most challenging. Okay, this is a lot easier than the structured de structured deck one was. <laughs> I also just realised that my that, that Dizzy's head. V uh, PNG tuber Dizzy sort of just sits like not quite neatly over in game Dizzy. Try to keep it up. Okay. I wouldn't mind a slightly more challenging deal puzzle than that. I won't lie. Like I'm not a glutton for punishment, but but just a little bit. Okay, right, what have we got? We've got Gravity by level 4 and High Monsters can't attack. You have three perfect machine kicks. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, I've got, I've got Lord British Space Fighter. Oh, I say, if this card destroys the Pace for battle, select and activate one of these effects. You can attack once again in the row. Or you can select and destroy one set card on the field. Or you can special summon a multi token. What? Goodness gracious. Um, it's chosen by response by battle, so that's unlikely to happen during the steel puzzle. Or we've got Blue Thunder T45. I love how thematic this is. Oh, we've got like all little space fighters. That's great. Oh, I love this. Uh, this card's chosen by response by battle, special summon the Thunder option token. Falchion B, if it destroys pets once by battle, don't take one of these effects. Send a light machine type monster. 1200 less attack. No deck to graveyard, but I definitely can't do that. Special summon a light machine type monster with total attack or less from your graveyard. Hmm. You've got 3,000 life points. Victory Viper. Okay, so these space fighters actually all have thematically similar effects as well. And there's a chance to multiply battle, so let's activate one of my effects. Plus 400 attack. Destroy a face up spell or trap. Special summon an option token. Which has the same type, attribute, level, and defense as this card. Okay. Jade Knight. Well, this card's in attack position. Fish up machine type monsters you control with 1200 less attack. Cannot be destroyed by the effects of trap cards. When the face up card is destroyed by battle, since Graveyard has level 4 light machine type monster, bring the deck to your hand. 
Okay, in hand I've got Malice Dispersion, Discard a Card, Destroy All Face Up Continuous Traps. I've got Cyber Eltane. Let me spare some I'm going to play all Face Up Light Machine type monsters from your side of the field and your graveyards. Cards attack and defense are equal to the number of monsters removed from play for its special summon times 500. Once cards special summons and all other face up monsters. All other face up monsters on the field to the graveyard. Uh, well, that seems fairly simple. So I. Malice Dispersion Discarding Cyber Dragon. I thought this was going to be some like interesting thing of like, oh, I have to attack in a certain order to trigger the various effects of my fighters. No! I just use this and then special summon him. That's boring. Oh, button's stuck again. Oh, blimey, that the game doesn't like that. I'll tell you what, this is a good card. This is a powerful card. I used to deal puzzles that are a lot harder than this. I assume that's coming later in the game. You win. Success. Find a way that there's a clear bonus and a win game bonus. Correct, you just need one more right answer. I'm hoping to get all of them, to be honest. Right, win in this turn. You've got one monster and nothing else. It's, oh, it's Dark Arm Dragon. I, I, okay. It's not a problem from the dual puzzle perspective, but Dark Arm Dragon was sort of the... It was the moment when Power Creep really became, like, a noticeable problem in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, oh, big button. like, it's always had Power Creep. All games of this nature have Power Creep. Uh, it's a product of capitalism, basically. But Dark Arm Dragon was, was a particular sort of turning point because it was... It was like a, a quite large jump in in power creep because it's a very powerful monster that is summoned very easily, and it was the first very powerful monster to be summoned very very easily. Uh, it also came at sort of a, a point when there was a lot of stuff out there to make dark deck decks strong. They made a lot of like X card but dark. So there's Dark Arm Dragon. They made Dark Simul. Uh, they came out with Rainbow Dark Dragon either at the same time or not, a, not too long afterwards. Um, so it was it, it was a powerful card that was summoned very easily that tied into a very powerful deck at the time. And Dark Arm Dragon is the first card I remember that traded for like hundreds of dollars because it was exceptionally rare and exceptionally powerful and you kind of needed it to meta deck. Um, and, and Dark Arm Dragon was, like, before then, then the format, you know, it'd take a knock and stuff. But I think Dark Arm Dragon is the first time the format took a knock that it didn't recover from. And it just, it, it broke Yu-Gi-Oh! as a game. Um, and there were other cards that, that would later come out and break Yu-Gi-Oh! as a game. Honest was a big one, the first of the kind of really bad hand traps. Um, and then when they introduced Pendulums and, and that whole shebang, that also kind of broke Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. But Dark Arm Dragon was the first big, big breaking moment. Uh, so it has my particular enmity, and to this day I've never used a deck with Dark Arm Dragon in any video game, and I probably never will. Um, and maybe that's me being petty, but you didn't come to this channel for anything else. Uh, Plague Spreader. Right, so what have I got? You've got Tad. Uh, one for one. One monster card from the hand to the graveyard. 
One monster from your hand or deck. One level one monster from your hand or deck. Okay. So that's Majestic or Stardust. Majestic cannot be used as synchro material, except for a Majestic monster. Stardust. When you special summon Sun's Dragon, you special summon this card from the graveyard and face up attack position. Once per time this card will be destroyed for battle, it is not. Okay. So you're a Tina, you're not. You're wrapping this attacking card in a defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of this card. Inflict the difference as battle damage. So you're piercing. When it starts as an attack target, change its defense position. So you're not super useful in a deal puzzle. Quick draw synchron. You're a level 5 Tina. So one monster from your hand to go and special summon this card from your hand. Substitute this card for any one synchron to be for synchrons. Synchro summon. Can it be used as a synchro material monster except a synchro summon of a monster that lists a synchro monster as a Tina? Okay. And then Plague Spreader, who's also a Tina, turn one card from my hand to the top of the deck, special summon this card from the graveyard. If I do, remove this card from play when it's removed from the field. Right, so you'll get one monster in the graveyard and one special summon one. You'll get one monster in the graveyard and special summon one. So that's two from hand, two in graveyard. So that's, that's two in graveyard, two on field, one in hand. And you can go one from hand to deck to special summon. So that would be if you if I sent you to the graveyard, then that would be three on field, one in graveyard, one on deck. Majestic Dragon plus Stardust Dragon. Plus one on Tina Monster. Previous cards in the the print spell card, trap card, or effect monsters effect. Destroy cards of print controls. Let's pretend you can get the effect of one of the things that print controls at the end saves. Hey there, ye, welcome back. You were try harding on GTA? That's okay, I'm try harding at a deal puzzle now. Um, also, if the gate effect can be activated, you can activate it once as this card's effect. During the end phase, turn this card from the field to the extra deck. I suppose someone start us driving from your graveyard. Okay, so I feel like the goal is to get this boy up. Majestic Dragon plus Starless Dragon plus one non Tina. <laughs> I'm happy when I see anyone in chat. It's nice to not be waffling onto myself, even though I feel like waffling onto myself is something I do well. So why have we also got you? What are you for? Turbo Synchron, plus one of one, one team of monsters. This card attacks level 6 or higher Synchro. Half that monster attack from the game set. This card cannot be targeted by the effect of level 6 or lower monsters. Um. Aww, shucks ye. Right, I gotta be big brain for this. Unfortunately, big brain is not <laughs> it's not it's not my forte. Right, so I need to have both of you on the field. But you'll come out when I get Stardust. <laughs> okay, what level is Stardust? Stardust have light. Okay, so I so for Stardust, I need Plague Spreader plus Turbo Warrior. For Turbo Warrior, I need Quick Draw plus 
Stardust Xiaolong. Right. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so I can... I can also normal summon one if I want to. Uh... What's the end of the game? Uh, so uh, I'm doing a dual puzzle. The basic point is I have to figure out how to beat him in one turn using a very limited selection of cards. Uh, and I, I have to do things in the specific order. And I just have to figure out what that order is. Um, Right, so I don't think I need you. I think you're one that can be safely put on top of my deck to bring Plague Spreader back if I want to. So I can discard Plague Spreader to get you out. Why have I got one for one? Right. Yes, this is indeed Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, sorry, I hadn't realised that. <laughs> I hadn't realised I hadn't explained that bit. Yes, this is Yu-Gi-Oh. This is specifically uh, Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship 2010, which is one of the last two good Yu-Gi-Oh video games. Um, there have been plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh video games since. Uh, the most recent one that's like a single player one is Legacy of the Duelist. And Legacy of the Duelist just really isn't up to snuff of some of the, the caliber of the AI opponents in this. Um, and then there's like dedicated multiplayer ones, Duel Links and Master Duel, which uh, are fine if you like that kind of thing. But I'm not super into PvP. Oh, I've got to be so big-brained. Maybe I should, maybe I should get a, a, a notepad document out. Uh, fire away with your question, Yi. While I, while I I scribble stuff down on notepad. Um, no, it, it it makes no odds to me. Uh, uh, like if you f want to share, then I'm not going to stop you. But I I no, I don't care. People can be whatever age or gender. Um, you will always be ye to me. Okay, so step one. This is not helping. Having having something to write it down is not helping. Let's just do it. And if we do it wrong, then so be it. Right. Okay, you're out. Then we're allowed to send Stardust to the grave to bring out Majestic. No, we need you on the field. Your name was going to be Yeet, but you mistyped. I think you may have told me that before. Um, which I, I don't know if, if Yeet with lots of E's or Ye with lots of E's is funnier, but the fact that you got it wrong is definitely more funnier than either of them on its own. Ah, I've done something wrong here already. But I'm not sure what it is.
I'm actually really not sure what it is. Uh, what was I supposed to do? I'm glad, I'm glad someone out here is being entertained. Um, okay, uh, right. Stupid. Hang on. Right, let's put you out. Okay. And then we'll surrender and we'll start again. Oh, I'm touched. Um, slightly baffled and bamboozled, I must admit, but I am touched. Failure. Yeah, I know. I know. Failure. It's fine. We're going out. Yeah, I know that. That's not the bit I'm having a problem with. Okay, so possibly. I'm sending you to the grave because I need a dark monster in grave. Right, then we can. One for one. No. I still can't one for one. Can I? No, because you're a tuna. You're all tunas. I've got too many tunas. I've done this wrong again. I'm very bad at this. Um, I don't know about uh, cross-playing game stuff. I I'm not certain it's something I'm super duper comfortable with just yet, like mm -hmm. streaming live on the internet while also playing with um, strangers, etc. I'm not going to say I will never do it, but like certainly not right, certainly not right now. <laughs> oh my god! Shut up, you! I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble here. Right, so I I feel like I can't one for one because the only things that I can. One for one. So if I, if I, so I need you out, and you out, and you out, and you out. So I need four of these five cards on the field. Thanks for being understanding. Um, Twitch, uh, sorry, uh, TikTok, like maybe one day if I feel like I have the right content for the platform. Um, definitely not ruling that out. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, see, I only know how to get at most three of these guys out. Do I have something that makes me draw? No, I don't have anything that makes me draw. Hmm. 
All right, Yi, it was good to see you around. Um, I hope your big day goes well, uh, although that's a sad face at the end of that message, so possibly it's not a good big day. Um, but I, I hope whatever good that can happen, happens. <gasps> Special summon a level one monster from your hand or deck. Oh, if I actually read the cards, then it would be so much easier. <laughs> oh dear lord. Um, lady Yi. Okay, now I know what we're doing. Right. We're sending Plague Spell to the graveyard to get you out on the field. We're activating Plague Spreader. I don't think it matters which one of these I choose. Pop you away. Put you in attack mode. Bye ye! Good to see you again. Uh, we are activating one for one. Get you from the deck. Okay, there we go. It's all coming together now. <laughs> it's one of those ones where, like, I know what the end bit is, I just don't know how to get there. Uh, uh, where are we going? I'm trying to, trying to get to my extra deck. Okay, special summon. Uh, special summon Turbo Warrior. Here are you. Fantastic. Special summon Stardust Dragon. Ah! <laughs> If only I'd read the card properly the first time, then we would have had a lot fewer problems. Do do do. Majestic Stardust. Once per turn, I can forget if it's one effect against my controls. Yes, use your effect. Negate one star. Right, bang, and then attack directly. Oof. I'll tell you what, the, the dual puzzle way of thinking is good because it makes you think like more Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I'd never think to do a turn like that on my own. Um, and it's the, the way of thinking around that that gets you to, to the stage where modern Yu-Gi-Oh is at today. You have now completed your dual puzzle training. Oh, I have to do both? Okay. Oh, can I not do the others? Can I not do the other two? Why, why would you have them if I'm not allowed to do them? Okay, well I guess we're doing this again. Okay, so Rise of the Dragon Wars didn't go well. Let's try zombies. And if not, we'll try... Um... Dragon's Roar. Uh, like, on the plus side, the structure decks are fairly well balanced against each other. On the downside, though, that doesn't mean I can't win by just having a better deck. Uh... Right, what have we got? Uh, Souls of the Bone Tower. Can't be sent to attack target while I control a zombie. Send a zombie wants for special summon. Send two cards to the point state of the graveyard. So that's me mediocre. Torrential Tribute is, is generally quite fantastic. Spirit Reaper can be pretty good. I'll set you. Uh, 
will set you guys. I don't really rate Reckless Greed. Like, I understand it's technically better to have those cards now than later, but like... I, I feel iffy about skipping my draw phases. No, I'll wait till my draw phase. Draw a card. Activate Reckless. Right, what have we got? We'll call the mummy. If you control no monsters, you're supposed to zombie monster from your hand. Oh, that's a real shame. Um, we do have regenerating mummy. Uh, Let's flip Spirit Reaper up. Get out my regen zombie. No. Make you discard something. It's always nice. Oh, why didn't you have that in your hat it, on the field, you fool? Okay, well you did have Saki, you did have a Saki on the field. Yes. Nice. Okay, well we are currently now sat behind a Spirit Reaper, which isn't great news. Blimey, me, there are two Sakuretsu armor in that deck? That's evil. Um, okay, Cannon Soldier. Not the best farm in the world. But we're not gonna quibble it. Mm, ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Let's dust on over that new one. What was it? Uh, oh, okay. I'm glad you didn't have that. Let's try this again. Tight on life points, but I've got a, a decent card advantage. Uh, I don't actually have anything to set, so <laughs> we didn't need to do that. But I am skipping this draw phase again. Oh, but you don't have anything useful. That's handy. Right, Bone Tower, go! Right, does Beth the Dark swing its opponent's card effect? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Spirit Reaper. Where about your cards? Bye bye, a tiny sliver of life points. I don't think I've ever attacked directly with a soul absorbing bone tower before, possibly in my entire life. But it's fine. Right, okay. Lead solidifying. Uh, 
Ah, Dark Dust Spirit. Very useful in that spirit deck. More or less useless. Ah, uh, in this particular circumstance. The main question is, do I want Despair from the Dark? Because although I'm happy to get rid of Regen Mummy, I quite like both Bone Tower and Spirit Reaper, and they're a fairly good combo with each other as well. Because Spirit Reaper can't be destroyed and protects Bone Tower. So I'm kind of tempted to say not right now, even though it costs me a, a little bit of damage in the long run. I'm going to keep discarding your cards though, which you're not going to like. Oh, was that a Gear Golem? That was a Gear Golem. Gear Golem can't be special summoned, right? Yeah, okay, he's a good one to get discarded. Okay, this is going much better than last time. Right, now, whatever you do, really, even if we really don't like it, there's not a lot you can do, because I could just Torrential you and then Call of the Mummy out Despair. I'll let you have a red gadget in your hand. I don't mind that, that's allowed. Like, okay, yeah, you're gonna text Pit Reaper and hurt me. That's allowed. I don't like it, but it's allowed. I could creature swap, which would be funny. <laughs> Um, creature swap might actually be the win this turn. So even though it's not the play I'd make if we were going on longer, you can have Bone Tower. I'll have Gadget. Oh, I should have attacked you for game with Green Gadget, just for the ultimate irony. Right, there we go. Awesome. Total Duel Bonus? What the hell does Total Duel Bonus mean? That was a limited type deck bonus. That's something I'll probably end up getting quite a lot. Nice. Okay. Let's show off a different one, I guess. Right, so we've seen... Shall I use the fire one? I want to use the dinosaur one. Oh, you're using machine revolt again. This might be a slightly tougher cookie for the dinosaurs, because you've got Gear Golem. And Gadgetron Dragon itself is nothing to sneer at, uh, attack-wise. But most of the basic HD gears aren't too hot. Right, what have we got? 500 life points, the alien face the trap card returned to its original position. Okay, we'll get that Hyper Hammerhead. Uh, Jurassic World. Ooh! Comes with background ambience that replaces the music. I'm fairly happy about that. Oh, the music comes back, but still. Oh no. Well, bye bye Jurassic World. Do 
Weapon change. Once you change your stamina phases, pay 700 life points to switch stand defense to a warrior or machine monster. Curious. I mean, we could blow it up. Now, Hyper Hammer had not so good against uh, the Gears, because they negate his effect a lot of the time. Oh, that was a bit mediocre. We've not got any of our amazing cards yet. Doesn't look like they have either. Uh, Black Stagger's pretty good. Not like it's good, but like it, it's it's not a bad draw for what I've got available to me. So Insta Defender. That's not a technical term, I've just made that word up. Um, right. Game is proceeding solidly. Ah, Galasaurus. What monsters do you have in your list? Only Ancient Gear. It is definitely inferior to just normal summoning you. What's your Ariaki do? Not, not, nothing that helps me right now. I don't have an exact game combination, sadly. Go, Black Stego. Go, Black Stego, Bam Lam, E, up, Black Stego, Bam Lam. I don't know how the song goes, but like I know it goes, Oh, Black Goody, Bam Lam. Um, and I definitely love to have a Stego Source in the song. All songs should have dinosaurs in. Actually, that's not true. There are lots of songs that would not be improved for having dinosaurs in. Um, even if we're including birds, uh, which was not my original intention when I said it. Okay, that's two down. Uh, okay. I want you to use a different deck so that I can show off some more things. I don't want to use this because I might be using spell uh, counter deck myself fairly soon. Surge of Radiance I've never used, as is Curse of Darkness. I've not used this either, but I feel like that might be more, uh, an even more powerful version of the other zombie deck. Machine of Mayhem. Let's use all the other ones I am familiar with. Let's go with Blaze of Destruction. You're using the starter deck. Now that might cause a problem because I think the starter deck is like specifically the 5D's starter deck and so it's got I think some synchros in and synchros are generally a bit stronger than the things that came before them. So this might be a challenge. But on the other hand I have Pod of Greed which has been banned since forever for being too strong. What have we got? Uh, level limit area B. Dust tornado. Hmm. Lim limit area B and surf action can be an alright combo. Limit area B and baseball kid can be an alright combo. 
But like, I need something there to set it up first. Uh, I don't know what you've got. So I don't know if what you've got can kill Solar Flare Dragon easily. We'll take the easy damage for now. Well, I could draw another Pyrotech once this can be attacked. You're Pyro, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I should have set you up first, really. Too late now, though. What I need really is, is a big defensive pyrotech monster to go with you, and then I can use a level limit. But it is too late now. A level 2 or level monster you can try to monster by battle. Well, that doesn't sound like something that will happen. Oh hell, he's got goblin attack force? You swine. Ow. Uh, what the hell was that? Another level limit? Seriously? Ooh, okay, I'm quite glad I got rid of that. Okay, well we'll just send out an Apache. I must admit, I was not expecting you to have Goblin Attack Force. <laughs> Why didn't you summon that? If you knew that's what you were going to do. Well, that was annoying. Tribute to the Doomed. Uh, pfft. I'm not that fast because I can get rid of you. Do I want to send you out with level limit? Probably. I'm sending you out because you have more attack than this guy base. Um, which is a little bit depressing to consider really. It's adorable! Look at that! Oh, <laughs> Um... The, the fire stretcher deck is a bit odd in that it's not really like a full burn. Um... Like it's got a bit of burn in it. Uh, oh, you should have done that first. Love the AI misplays. Like, it's got burn elements. Um, let's throw out another level limit. Throw out Baseball Kid. What happens if I say yes? Oh, oh, I forgot you and I forget you have that effect because it's not a very useful effect to ever use. Um, I need you to run with that. A little Chimera, or Chimera. But I like Chimera, it's a better, it's a better pronunciation. Alright, you are basically top decking, aren't you? So I don't have too much to be worried about for now. Especially as I'm about to get Baseball Kid number 2 down. Oh, little Firefox dude, what do you do?
absolutely nothing of value. <laughs> I suppose you kind of combo a little bit with um, Dragon Boy. Oh, hell, really? Death Koala? What is this deck? Right, it's fine. We're gonna attack directly for massive damage. Ah, uh, you got me. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna get you again before the battle's over. How rude. Okay. Nope. Okay, remind me what you do? It's kind of a complete special summon. Once you return successfully, move from play up to five monsters in your graveyard. Try another spell check, particular number of cards you move from play by this effect. You're. As a boss monster, you're not that great, to be honest. You're level 9? Okay. Well, I'll send out Foxfire. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's a shame you can't come back from using your base with kids effect. Right. Okay. We now have 4,000 attack baseball kids. This is the real combo of this deck. It's not the boss monster, baseball kid is the boss monster now. <clears throat> I think this is a good enough max attack and max damage bonus. There we are. Right, okay. You never lose, do you? Limited attribute deck. So if I build a light machine deck, I get plus 30 DP every time I win. That would be my stretch still training. Does that mean I now can't do this anymore? My training's over, science where I need to undergo... Oh no, this is the bit of the game I've been dreading, is riding a motorcycle. We held on the highway at the east side of the Domino City. Okay, so I can do more strat deals. Okay, so I can eventually complete them all. Oh, I actually can't leave out of this screen. Uh, so I guess I'm doing a duel. Um, right, let's show off Fury from the Deep. I'll probably do the rest of these off stream. I hadn't realised that I wouldn't be able to come out of that, that menu. You're using the weird starter deck again. Fairy from the Deep's a, a, an Umi adjacent water deck. I would say it's probably a little bit better overall than the fire deck, but not much. Come up with normal summon set. You first summon by moving to play two water monsters in your graveyard. So it's supposed to monster as the other opponent skips their next draw phase. Great effect, not good stats. Tornado War, only what is on the field. As long as Umi remains on the field, take no damage from attacking monsters. So you've got to reload. But there's not a lot of things I want to reload at the moment, because Fenrir, well, hmm. Then it's probably not that useful now. Tornado is not useful now. Okay, we'll reload. Oh! That's all cards in my hand! Oh no! I did not read that well! Oh, well this is a disaster! Haha! <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! I got Reload and Magical Mallet confused for a moment there and it was... It was a disaster. <laughs> Road Synchron. Hmm. 
Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm gonna let you do this for now. Ouch. What have we got? Oh, well this is good, because I believe... I believe this combo works if I creature swap and then destroy I think I still get the Mama Bear's effect. If the game is programmed properly, which it might not be. Because he gets sent to my graveyard and that's where the effect activates. Right. For the monster with 1500 or less attack, what have we got? Uh, don't need you just yet. Unshaven Angler? It's not bad. Amphibious Burgroth. Shall we grab the Angler? What have I got? Oh, nice. Using forbidden cards is broken. Ah, okay, so this is our, this is not Umi, but this is our, our Umi substitute. Um, so Legendary Ocean, it combos well with Gravity Bind, because we've got a lot of level 4 waters that become Gravity Bind Umi. Um, and it counts as Umi. Right, here we got show easy. Right, this turn's gonna hurt. Okay, we've got the I'm doing well music again, which is nice, we really love the I'm doing well music. Junks. Okay, so you are obviously looking to do a... Synchro. We'll see what you pull out. Because at the moment these two aren't a threat on their own. And if I don't like what you pull out, I can always throw them. Junk wire, what do you do? It's kind of a synchro sound that gains attack equal to total attack of all level 2 and lower monsters you control. Hmm. Do I want a torrential? I've got effectively two draws next turn to get any monster with 1300 or more attack. Let's go with it.
like Seven Colored Fish, for example. Oh yeah, there's nothing like attacking directly with a normal monster for game. <laughs> Nice. Oh, we've got plenty of DP as well. We've got skills. I've got to brush up my own ability, it seems. Can I please use this duelist menu? Like, a new strat deck is available at the shop. Okay. You know what the problem with that is? <laughs> I don't have access to the shop! Uh, let's drop down the save. Make sure there's no one else here. I actually already did, didn't I? Okay, now where am I supposed to be going? Do I just go and sleep? Let's see if I can do a little explore first. Oh, I, I, I so don't want to learn how to drive a motorbike. It is the thing I, I know I'm going to enjoy least about this. The motorbikes were already conceptually annoying. Um, now having to... Oh, hello. Izzy, looks like you finished your training. Now help me sharpen the keys up. Follow me. Oh, thank goodness for that. No motorbikes yet. I'd like you to do once keys are. Looks like you're still not in perfect condition, so don't overdo it. Take it easy, think of this as light training. we got Oka skill successor. Select face at once to control, gain 400 attack to the end phase. Move from players come to go to give one face at once to control, 800 attack to the end phase. During my turn only. Okay, we'll throw out you, set down some threatening rules. Now we'll just sit down with one threatening wall for now. Oh wow, that's a very powerful effect. Four hundred attacks, that's only up to twenty hundred. I would like to chain, please. And what do you do? Tribute face upon the monster control to get the attention of spell trap or effect monster effect. Targets calm on the field. Okay, so that now means basically uh, uh, you have that monster in your turn and I have that monster in my turn. I see, okay. Not a huge fan, it must be said. Right, 
Right, what have we got as options? Your 2400 attack, or most of our good synchros are 2400 attack. Um, I think what we want to do is get out life transfer. Now, I could skill successor you now and the next turn skill successor again so that you can actually run over to Tangle. So I, I do that now, and then I threatening roar during their turn so that they can't attack. And then in my turn, I skill successor again from the graveyard to get you. I'm not sure if Titanial. I don't think you can negate this because it activates in the graveyard, and so you can't destroy it. I think. As an alternative, I could Threatening Roll this turn and then Ocka next turn to Suicide into you. That's not better than, than what I was planning to do. Plant cuts the plant is an attack target. This guy's also an express on a roll for a lower plant also from your hand. Oh, well that's not good. Black Rose Dragon, what the hell do you do, remind me? You can destroy all cards on the field. Right, well threatening roar. <laughs> Then we'll skill successor. Oh, you tributed yourself. Interesting. Well, I guess that solves the problem of whether or not you'll be able to negate it from the graveyard. Theoretically, you know actually what I could use this instead of that effect. Oh, uh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, summon you first, just in case. Right, you have lots of. Attack, skill skills is activated to chain another card, no. Right, this might work or this might end terribly depending on their face downs. Okay, that's worked, surprisingly. Uh, Oh, you've got scapegoats. That's fine. Oh god, I have to check each sheep token individually. 
Okay. Right, one sheep token down, three to go. All in all, a successful turn. Ah. Well, that could have gone better. On the plus side, you're now out of cards. On the downside, basically so am I. Uh, who do I want? Alex Neutron. Power Invader might not be so bad. Um. Shall I grab Crabons? We'll grab Crabons. I don't want to do you out with your effect, so uh, we're going to leave ourselves undefended for now. I should have got the Defender actually. You're still going to have lots of scapegoats by that point, aren't you? Yeah, oh well, never mind. Actually, is Kribbons useful for eyes of the synchros I have left? Yes, okay, it's useful for Thought Rover. That's what I sort of thought, but uh. I was like, I had a moment of doubt. Which has black fire, it's got these special summons. Well, it's normal summon boy Katrona cards, which you're not. Okay. Well, that's a little bit annoying of you. because we're getting crab ops next turn, or we'll run over a sheep, it can survive for a turn but with me paying life points. Oh! Another crab ons! <laughs> well, it turns out that was pointless. I really should have got um, Dark the Feather, whatever the hell his name is. Blue sheep, you are next. Bye bye blue sheep. Oh, you've got some auto. Right, a little bit of alley, but worth it. Nightmare wheel, solid. Uh, I'm actually gonna. So many using your effect. You kill that tomato. Oh, 
Okay, so the starter deck. No, this is this is not the starter deck normally. Egypt. Her deck is a, is a is a dark plant deck. Violet witch. A strong vessel to go around the plant that runs with feeling with defense from deck to your hand. Um. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I at least want to see what you're getting. Terms of attack, it's not a part of those reception field to go Don't care. Uh, Rose Knight. Are you a Tina? You are a Tina, but you don't seem to be able to Tina. All right then. I wish you were level three. I don't think I have any level threes actually. I can synchro with grandons. Realize I'm actually in the winning music at the moment. Um, yay, life points! Duck a mobile cam. Do I have a level 4 in my go card? I've got Turbine. I've got another Telekinetic Shuffle. I'm not sure they're more useful than having Crabons out now, to be honest. Let's waste this face down. Yay! Life points! <laughs> right, okay, and no more scapegoats after this turn either. Oh, are you level 3 actually? You might be. You might be a, a level 3, the one in my hand. Yes, you're a level 3, okay. So actually, I should have set you first, possibly, because um, then I could flip. Then this turn coming, I could flip you and synchro. Uh, well, you're now power invader. That's what that thing is called. 
Uh, I don't think you're gonna last long enough to find out anyway. Oh, I could get an exact game. I'll have an exact game. Right, fantastic. Uh, good training. Something is wrong, my powers didn't work as planned. What powers? You got out your two best monsters. You just spent them badly. Oh my god, I just died. She still can't fully control her power. Oh no, it's fine. Okay, I just got knocked back. Um, she's having power leakage. I must still be a little tired. Just take the rest of the day off. I'm sure a friend over there will be okay. Oh yeah, sure, I'm fine. The next day. You're right now, right? So you start dual runner training today while we're in the same boat. If we become really good, we might be awarded with a dual runner. I'll go on ahead. You know, I can't think of anything I want less than to be awarded with a dual runner, to be honest. Uh, oh, I didn't want this. I want to speak to Okito. We get there in due time. It's be held on the highway on the east side of New Domino City. So that's to the right. Um, but that will be something for next time because we are a. Uh, a little bit shy of three hours. I'm going to drop down the save here. I'm going to be upset that I still can't get into the duelist menu. <laughs> um, I assume that's coming at some point. Oh, I just need to go out this way, don't I? Our DP does carry over, so I assume that eventually I'll get cards, right? Carried across? Do I now have access to the other synchros? From that deck? No, I don't. Okay. Hmm. Maybe let's not spend the DP here just yet, in case, like, I need to spend it separately there. I don't think I should, but just in case. Uh, oops. Let's check. Do I have any more dual opponents? Nope. That's what we're doing this all for, is to unlock more dual opponents. I also said there was a new thing in the shop. Oh, beginning. I can now buy Fury of the Deep because I've won with it. But I guess I need to win with the others again? And it costs 2000 DP to get each. Okay, well that's something to look out for. Because especially the spell counter deck. If I can unlock that, that'll get me a long way towards a spell counter deck. And honestly, actually, some of these structure decks might be a lot more useful as a, as a basis than what I've got going on currently. Although, actually, I say that. Now I've got XYZ, maybe not. Um, if I Like, if I can get the warrior one, if I can get the machine one, then I uh, might start to get some cards that are, are bulking out my existing capabilities. Uh, and I won't buy this one or this one or this one until we've got to uh, chapter 2, which is when they unlock. I assume that the reason they all unlocked at the same time is because like the cosmetics unlock and that unlock is all just one thing. So when they put in the... Uh, <clears throat> then it just it was just like it triggers this game checkpoint for the shop. I assume that's what it did. Uh, anyway, that has been me. Uh, and that has been Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship... Oops, wrong transition screen, lol. Uh, that's been Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2010 Reverse of Arcadia. Uh, 
if you want the full title. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. I I don't want to get too sucked into this and kind of burn myself out. I think that's a little bit what I did with PHK is is stream it four times a week and then get burnt out of, of Prehistoric Kingdom. Um, but uh, I am enjoying this, even if we are going to have to ride a motorcycle at some point. Um, which I'm not looking forward to. I don't. I don't really want a racing game in my in my Yu-Gi-Oh game. Uh, I've played various sort of like off-brand racing games. Like when I say off-brand, I mean like not proper racing games, not Mario Kart. And of the the off-brand racing games that I've played, only Lego Drone Racers has ever been any good. Instantly, I should play Lego Drone Racers again. I've got an emulator. I've got a controller. Hmm. Thoughts for another time. Um, in the meantime, uh, I have been busy. Uh, if you enjoy watching, please do consider dropping a follow. Uh, or speaking up in chat if you're around next time. It's always nice to have people in chat. And as Yi noted earlier, uh, it, it makes my day when there's someone around to talk to and I can, I can riff at. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, as an alternative, please do consider dropping a like or a comment. Uh, you can say hi, you can say what decks, what structure decks do you think I should should start building off of, perhaps, if you want. Uh, and I might take those suggestions on your advisement. Uh, and you can also find me on Twitter, at this for Demise, where I send out a tweet every time I go live. I may occasionally send out... Uh, <laughs> Other slightly more inane tweets related to stuff that's gone on on stream, you never know. Um, yeah, but every follow, every like, every interaction, all of those things help small streamers like me. Uh, I especially have to go, somebody's about to start streaming outside the window. So I've been dizzy, thank you everyone very much for listening and watching, and I will see you all next time. Ta ra!